Good afternoon and welcome to San Diego Mesa College Recital Hour. For those of you that are new, Recital Hour is a concert series put on by San Diego Mesa College in which we would feature artists in the classroom for the audience and for the students as well. But nowadays we just do it online, live streaming for all the world to see. So if you made your way here uh, today, please come back and join us for future performances. Today we will be featuring a variety of piano repertoire by Dr. Xiaoyan Sui, who is also a teacher at San Diego Mesa College, a professor here. So uh, we thank her very much for coming and stick around for the interview at the end where I ask her a whole bunch of questions about uh, her very interesting upbringing in a conservatory lifestyle. So enjoy the concert and thank you again. Thank you. 
Well, thank you so much for that wonderful for, uh, performance and thank you for joining us. We have with us today, Dr. Xiao Yan Sui. And uh, thank you again for that performance. Please give us a little background on why you chose these pieces to share with us. Yeah, thank you so much, Ian, for having me. I'm glad to talk about the piece I performed today. Um, so, uh, uh, as you can, uh, you heard today, um, the first piece is uh, Mazuka by Chopin. Um, so I like to introduce this piece uh, because it's a, it's a folk dance, it's polished folk dance and can, you can feel the rhythm, um, you know, the Mazuka rhythm and then you feel the energy, you feel the, you know, uh, the joyful, you know, uh, you know, feeling of this piece. And the second piece um, is um, Serenade uh, by Schubert, original uh, composed by Schubert. And then uh, uh, Liszt, you know, uh, transcribed this piece uh, in a uh, you know, different version. It's interesting to hear uh, the piece in a different, uh, you know, angle. You can hear different, uh, you know, voices on the soprano on the right hand. And then uh, yeah, it's a very interesting version. Uh, to hear this piece. And uh, uh, the third one uh, is the variation on a theme of Karate uh, by Russian composer Rachmanov. And uh, Rachmanov is always my favorite uh, composer. Um, I, I really, uh, you know, always have a motivation to play his, you know, uh, music. I play his uh, uh, piano uh, second concerto when I graduated from college with my professor. 
is is his muses always inspire me, always give you know um, you know give me motivation to study and keep going. Yeah, and uh, um, the the following piece um, actually the recording is um, the uh, world premiere performance I made last year. Uh, the the piece composed by my colleague, Dr. Ramstrom. Uh, it's a very interesting piece uh, because I, we, we had a conversation to talk this piece be, before I perform. I get idea directly from the composer what she wants to express, what, uh, you know, what kind of sound she's looking for. And I, I feel it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for performer uh, to uh, discuss the music with the perform uh, composer before the performance is really a fantastic uh, uh, opportunity for me. Um, and uh, the last piece is um, the uh, Cadenza Argentina, um, because I, I really love the Latin American music, you know, the tango, that, you know, the, the, the melody is so, uh, it's charming, you know, it's very you know, beautiful. And so I like to put this piece at the end of the concert. And uh, I hope uh, you, you, all the audience enjoy that performance. Well, I'm sure they all did. Thank you very much for uh, for sharing all of that with us. Now, you are a familiar face, I would say, around at the Mesa College Parks, you know, having taught many classes there and students, but we have plenty of new viewers and students who perhaps may not know who you are. So would you please describe your educational background for us and tell us who you are? Okay. Um, yeah, um, I, uh, I graduated uh, from uh, school in two countries. I got my bachelor degree uh, in, in China, attending Conservatory of Music, and I got my master and uh, doctor degree in United States. Uh, and um, I think uh, to me, I think my family, especially my parents had a great impact on me. Uh, uh, the, be uh, the experience I had before when I was young, uh, uh, is, is, is just shaped what I am now. And uh, I was born in a musician family and wow. my parents are, you know, professors uh, at Tianjin Conservatory of Music in China. And uh, uh, if you know the uh, Chinese, uh, you know, music uh, education system, uh, Tianjin uh, Conservatory of Music is one of the top conservatories in China. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And, um, at that time, uh, 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 the conservatory offering uh, uh, housing for all the faculties oh. uh, was pretty nice. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we live in a huge, you know, condo uh, complex. All the faculties, and then and then I literally uh, the condo is next to uh, the campus. Uh huh. So you hear all different kinds of music all the time. You hear. Wow. Yeah, no, you have, you heard a uh, violin, you have trumpet and uh, yeah, it's, it's going on, you know, uh, all the time. And, um, and nobody complain if you practice trumpet at 11 PM, mm -hmm. <laughs> nobody gonna knock your door and say, hey, you cannot play that loud. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, you know, I, I just think my neighbor, I just feel very grateful, you know, they never, come and knock my door because I practice hours and hours every day and nobody complain. Well, that's interesting, you know, experience. I think not many people had this before. Right. I'm jealous. I'm jealous <laughs> of your experience. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I feel yeah, very grateful too to live in that community with all the musicians, all the great neighbors. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also I, I, I studied in uh, Tianjin Conservatory, uh, and uh, uh, also I, uh, uh, well, overall I started with two different, I mean, sorry, I, I studied in two different countries with three, uh, uh, with professors from three different countries. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and with different backgrounds as well. Uh, um, among all of them, there's a professor from Odyssey Conservatory. 
um, at that time, because our uh, tenure conservator invited uh, some of the professors from Odessa, and then they came uh, uh, like every year. Uh, so you, you get a chance to study with different, uh, uh, you know, professors. Mm -hmm. It's a really wonderful opportunity, wonderful, uh, you know, uh, this is great opportunity for students to explore different kind of, uh, you know, uh, music. Uh, and uh, and also, I think one professor I studied with in America, she's great at Norwegian uh, music. Uh, I performed a, a concert last year for uh, Greek uh, um, uh, music, uh, two pianos and uh, piano duet pieces. Um, and uh, also, I had a study with professors, uh, also, uh, you know, as expert on Chinese piano music. Of course, yeah. yeah. So yeah, those experience uh, is just uh, give me, um, uh, you know, uh, always give me a motivation, almost encourage me to keep going and then become a professional musician. Yes, uh huh, um, and um, and also I think uh, uh, because I had a, a two degrees. Uh, on piano performance and piano pedagogy. Uh, yeah, uh, because I think the uh, it come from uh, the influence from my parents. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I just love to teach students. I have passion to teach, you know, music and I love to see, the, you know, how students, they grow up and making progress. Uh, yeah, and some of the my students in the win the uh, win the international piano competition, wow. local you know competition. I feel like it's very uh, rewarding uh, of my job as a piano teacher. Right. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm very blessed to you know uh, choose uh, you know music and music teacher as my career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think, you know, some of the things you were talking about, you know, having the degrees uh, from these different areas, like starting in China, getting your other degrees here, and mm -hmm. also within those uh, sections, also having some diversity of influence on you. I think that'll bring us into our next question, which is one of our focal points this year is diversity in music. And it's my belief that diversity of cultures, genders, politics, and outlook all affect artistry. And how do you think diversity affects music? And how's your background played into your musical career? Were there any challenges based off of who you are? And if so, how did you address them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great questions. Um, and uh, I think to me, uh, diversity is the most important part of humanity. Um, mm -hmm. The whole world has diverse cultures, uh, languages, uh, thoughts and uh, opinions, uh huh, and I think a diversity is the drive or the motivation for people to study and understanding understand different aspects of the world uh, to be uh, creative uh, and uh, innovate. Um, and what I'm thinking of. Um, diversity is very important, even more uh, that I'm thinking is how we can promote um, the understanding of diversity among peoples. Uh-huh, um, you know, because, you know, the barriers of uh, always exist like a language, people still speak different languages and we could understand what, you know, that what they're saying yeah. and what they are trying to express. And uh, I think music is the universal language. It doesn't need any words to translate. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a media or a bridge to connect different uh, cultures or uh, countries. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I, I can share an interesting story. Uh, Why I studied with uh, the professor from Odessa Conservatory, uh, I mentioned before, uh, because they only speak uh, Russian. They don't know Chinese. Um, they don't know how to speak. They just speak a little bit English, but not very well. And uh, uh, at that time, uh, our school hired an interpreter. 
So this, we have two pianos, you know, next to each other. Professor sit in one piano and the students sit in the other piano. And in the middle, there's a chair for interpreter. Okay, and uh, one time uh, my interpreter got sick. And uh, there's no any substitute interpreter mm -hmm. to show up, and uh, and turn out that's the best lesson I had before. Wow. Yeah, it's it's really very interesting is because without it, you know, the, the people translate the language. We can just play, and the professor showed me how it sounds like, how to shape the you know the melody, how you know how the rhythm you know. Uh, work or you know I, I, I it's very uh, uh, sorry uh, it's very interesting uh, experience uh, because I, I feel like I, I learn much more with a language it's just music it, you can learn directly from people who doesn't speak your language yeah so I feel this is very uh, interesting experience to me well it kind of um, uh, enforces your thesis of uh, you were saying music as a universal language and your best experience not being with a translator. And I could totally see that because when you have the translator, they're, uh, you know, probably without knowing, they're injecting some of their own personality into the direction and all of that. But when mm -hmm. it's just the music, you're right. Sometimes, you know, if I'm listening to a, a, a French opera or something like that, I might not know what the words are being said, but I'm still having emotional reactions to it, right? Yes. Whereas, um, you know, if something's in English, it's obviously easier for me to get, but music is music. And even when I'm listen listening to um, music in my native tongue, I'm not always listening to the words. I'm an instrumentalist by trade, so I'm listening to melody and, you know, yeah. so there is this universal language aspect to it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, I'm thinking about Debussy. Mm -hmm. Probably sometime you, my student, when my student play uh, Debussy and then one student told me, I feel like it's Chinese music. And then I said, why? Because he heard the pentatonic scale. Yeah. And he, he, he feels very familiar, you know, it's, it's very, you know, very close to the beauty. I said, okay, that's, you know, good start. And then you feel some connection, you know, between you and the Debussy, right? Even though it's a French music, but there's some elements from, you know, different country, like, you know, uh, you know, Chinese music or, you know, yeah, it's this, this wonderful, uh, you know, interesting experience. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So what is next for you in the coming year? Um, so I hope uh, this, uh, you know, pandemic will be over soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing online teaching almost a year. Um, and I, I always feel like it is very interesting uh, because I think some students did, did start to develop good years because sometimes they couldn't see exactly, you know, my doing, I'm, I'm doing because you compare with physical, you know, right. class. And then they start to hear more, you know, try to hear, use their ear to hear the sound, hear the tone color, hear, you know, uh, well, for piano, we don't have pitches, you know, problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel it's, it's interesting. And, uh, but on the other hand, I feel like because some students, they don't, tune the piano, you know, uh, during this pandemic. And then sometimes I feel like, hey, this is wrong notes, I feel, I feel. And he said, no, it's right. And then I realized because out of tune. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, but it, it's, it's interesting, isn't it bad or good? And then, you know, both sides, yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, I hope this, you know, uh, this situation will be over soon and we can uh, go back to campus, uh, you know, have, uh, you know, real uh, class, real teaching environment soon. And uh, I'm thinking maybe next year I will plan some, um, uh, 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 some, uh, you know, project with, you know, work with different uh, musicians, uh, like ensemble, or, you know, something, you know, we can have like a group or something. Uh, because today, you, you can see I only can play by my own. <laughs> I, I catch what you're saying. You're saying anything that involves other people and us all in the same room, I would love to do whether it's a class, <laughs> whether it's an ensemble, whatever it is. And I think we're all feeling that today. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best for that all this starts to uh, uh, get better. But 
thank you so much for joining us today and, and with your time and sharing those videos for us for recital hour thank and so uh yeah. we hope to have you back very soon yeah thank you so much that's my pleasure yeah thank you for having me mm -hmm. thank you